Cheap camera challenge with Jeff. Instantly, change of location. We're not on the street. We're on a different street. We are, we are on concrete, <laughs> at least. At the moment. At the moment, yes. But we are here at sunny Bondi Beach. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I think it's going to be like something like 40 degrees today. So we're going to get toasty. Yeah. Dan's going to get a tan. Dan the camera tan. Dan's man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm stoked for it, man. We're doing this um, cheap camera challenge. Yeah, um, man. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Like, look at this. Like, there's all these kind of different scenes. Like, there's all these people here. These weird paddle board things. <laughs> weird paddle. I don't know what the f is going on over there, but <laughs> we'll go check it out soon. Yeah, man. Be able to see some Bodai rescue sh Oh, sweet. That'll probably be me filming you, right? Yeah. When you struggle yeah. out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be another <laughs> Asian casualty. <laughs> We sort of premeditated this a little bit, but it's okay. We're balancing it out because A, this is uh, something that you haven't done before. Yes, yes. Photographing yes. on the beach, have you done that at least? No, I haven't. Like I've done like the, you know, the shots here and there, but yeah. I've always wanted to kind of give it a crack. If this one thing that this can give us is a bit of storytelling, right? People kind of like mm. having fun and stuff like that. So 100%. hopefully we'll be able to capture some of that. But yeah. yeah, first time for me. Um, I'm super excited for it. And the beach is part of your life as well. You surf a bit. I do. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get out in the water as well with the camera. You've been speaking about how you're trying to put more color into your sort of workflow personally through photography. Yeah, I So am. this might be a good bridge to that. Do I, do I have color? I'm giving you... I'm giving you two rolls, as is tradition on this channel. So film? So both, fil it's a film camera. Yeah. You've probably seen it already. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. So yeah, we're doing one color and one black and white. Mm. And um, it's your choice if you want to start with one or the other. But because we've got light working with us today, it's going to be a difficult decision which one to go for first. Yeah, I think maybe... Black and white, it looks better with light, but so... Oh. No, maybe I'm going to start with the... No, no, I think I've, I've made my mind up already. I think I, I think I will start with black and white. Um, and then move into colour. Yeah. And it's just, it's like moving from one, your past to your present. Yeah, and at least that'll kind of give me a bit more confidence. <laughs> not doing something I kind of know. Yeah. And then, well, not with a camera that... You're familiar I, I didn't with. I've used this before. So. Well, it's just a point and shoot. It's an easy camera. It's a good camera. Yeah. And um, yeah, here it is. I'll, I'll pull it out now. Oh, relax. Oh, that's lovely though. Yeah, it's a Canon. Uh, it goes by a few names. I think that one's called the Sure Shot A1. It's a full point and shoot. It's got a flash uh, and it's fully water weather waterproof. That's fucking great, dude. Yeah. It's got a really nice viewfinder. It's actually quite bright. And the autofocus is pretty reliable as well for the most part. Fuck, this is sick, dude. Yeah, man. And so at the front there, you've got your control switch at yeah. the front. So that's how you turn it on and off. And you've got auto, flash on, flash off. And then there's like a underwater focus mode. Yeah, what's this underwater fish thing? I think it just changes the focus distance. <laughs> dude, this is sick, man. I'm f***ing stoked. Let's do it. All right, sweet. So what are we starting with? Black and white, I reckon. Are we? Uh, f*** man. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, all right. Oh, man. No, no, no. no maybe we should go No, no, no. <laughs> I'm cheap. Yeah, foamer pan guy. I, I'm a foamer guy. If you shoot film at all. But yeah, I know. Dude. Yeah, it's been yeah, a while yeah. actually. So this is not only something new, as in bloody taking photos out in the water or in the beach. It's a new stock as well. It's film. Yeah. On the beach. Yeah, man. This is it. This is. Let's get. It. You, let's see you load it. I'm gonna f this up. Good. Everyone does. Maybe you should just kind of like edit in. Someone with brown hands <laughs> with a different <laughs> camera. <laughs>
between you and I, I should have gone collar. Yeah, you really have to kind of time this, right? Like mm. there really is that short lag. Mm. It's not long, but it's um, enough to it's throw enough. You off. Like if yeah. if you're if you're timing someone to get in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. You need, it's literally like two steps. They need to be two steps back. Love your hair. Can I take a portrait? Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna place you somewhere nice. Yes, I <laughs> um, <laughs> this is cool, this is cool. This is a nice kind of... Man, how long have you been growing this? Uh, about, since I was 17, so about 10 years. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask your age, don't worry about that. <laughs> with people like that? I try to talk to as many people as I can, actually. Mm. Why is that? Oh man, it's just a more fulfilling experience for me mm. as, a, as a photographer, you know? And don't get me wrong, I, I, I still go out and just sometimes keep to my own and do my own thing. But I, th I, I feel like it's a little bit more enriching, enriching kind of interacting with people like that. Because you never know what you're going to get out of it, mm. you know what I mean? It's just like, if you're taking a shot of someone, you're you know, you're, you're taking a shot of someone without their permission, basically. Being able to interact with them and kind of having a chat to them kind of eases that kind of anxiety, I guess, from my point of view. But it also gives me the opportunity to kind of give back in regards to, like, if, if, like, take that for an example, you know, she's a mermaid and she needs someone to video her. Like, for sure I'm going to do that shit, you know what I mean? Like, it's the least I can do. That's all networking, right? Like, you never know where that, uh, that will lead into opportunities for work Absolutely. or creative co collaborations. Absolutely, man. Like nearly all kind of creative interactions or collaborations have come from a random hello. Oh yeah. Like it's sick. And then like, look, this is nothing new. People do this all the time, but... It's how I, we met actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I would just definitely encourage people to kind of like take a moment and just take your, take your head out of your ass, you know what I mean? And say hello. And what do you think about people who don't, who exclusively keep to the shadows? People could just be introverted. People just might not like that kind of interaction with people. Mm -hmm. But from my personal experiences and my, who I am as a person, fuck, I love that shit. I love saying hello to people. Mm -hmm. If they're willing to say hello back, like I'm, I could spend half an hour just chatting to someone, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, for people that might feel whatever we do. Intimidated. Yeah, intimidated or just don't want to. Just give it a go. That's hey, it. you never know, right? That's sure. it. Poor little thing. I just took a photo of the roof. <laughs> nice dog. <laughs> What's his name? It's Chico. Hey, Chico. Can I take a photo? Yeah, sure, sure. It's cool. Yay. You know what would be really funny? If you put Chico in front of your face. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, like this. This is funny. Yeah. Ready? Smile, Chico. <laughs> bye. Chico, say bye. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Um, I think what I wanted to get from this experience as well is to see how my style of photography kind of translates to different cameras. Oh yeah. Um, I, you know, that sounds pretty broad saying that, but it's nice, it's refreshing, you know what I mean? To see if what you've learned, however many years or months, kind of translates. translates. Like I am, I am really enjoying the, like not worrying about things. I usually shoot manual everything mm. um, but I think given that we're here and the people that we're seeing and the beach itself I think Otto was the go the go yeah all right so we finished the first roll of black and white we have and, and that we're... was that was pretty fun well I don't know <laughs> I'll tell you we'll find out when we get the negatives we'll find back out. so we're gonna switch into the color segment and head into the water oh what do we have we got Fuji 200. Oh, sick. Basically Kodak Gold. Very similar, if not the same. Oh yeah, have you? Sh I've, I've never shot this. I've shot it, it's nice. It's good stuff. Yeah, is that Very... the one that you were showing me earlier on? That was portrait. Oh, that was portrait, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't want to waste my portrait on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to try this camera. Um, hmm. I don't know how this is going to go because I've never done anything like this before. Uh, but hopefully the plan is to get some portraits of people out the back there. So hopefully they'll allow me to do that. So um, yeah, let's see how we go. trying to dodge people and catch waves. That's the difficult part, but as far as the cameras, it's still working, which is great. Um, and I could definitely see myself doing this more often if I own. Try this out in the water. Um, apart from the fact that people were really just in their own zone trying to catch waves and whatnot. Um, So it was really hard to ask people for portraits. I did speak to one girl out there, asked if I could take her photo. She was cool with it. She actually told me that she's been wanting a photo of herself out oh, the world. Well. But what am I gonna do? Like, I'll remember your email address kind of thing. Oh. Anyway, um, just put it in a message in a photo. <laughs> That's what I had to say. But um, yeah, it was just really difficult. I found it difficult anyways to kind of like, Manage surfing with important people. I ended up just like trying to sneak up on people a bit. Did you appreciate the change? Yeah, tunnel. Like, look, I think if I did this for a much longer, I think I'd really, really, really enjoy this. Whoa, whoa. The experience of the camera itself, there's second to none, man. It's sick. You know what I mean? Like, people wondering what I'm doing. But yeah, dude, it's really fun. Like, I would definitely do this again. two roles yeah, talk me through your experiences with the camera on land and in the water i think having a point and shoot auto film camera is called for uh, 
for scenes like this, for, for places like this, like the beach. Yeah, so the camera itself, on land, it's quite fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think people look at it and look at it as a toy. Yeah. It feels like a toy. Um, and, and it's really easy, it's super easy to use. Oh yeah. Um, I mentioned earlier on that this is something that I'd be quite happy to hand over to a friend that they would really do are familiar with. Yeah, from that bridge. Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to kind of just park that onto you know. Um in the water. Yeah, dude. It's there. Yeah, for anyone gonna do the same thing, yeah. I would definitely use this camera. All right, so where can people find you and what can people look forward to? People can hit me up on Instagram, and at Belia underscore. Um, yeah, that's probably the best place to kind of reach out to me. And what about looking forward to? Uh, for 2024 or yeah, for? Just in general. I'm looking forward to, I guess, getting back into photography um, in a way that makes me happy. I think right now, boy, the gamma. right now, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff that, um, in the sense of well, what what do I want to capture? What what, what do I want to say? So um, I'm actually really looking forward to kind of exploring that and, and seeing where that takes me, I guess. Awesome, yeah. Excited to see how the photos turn out and um, all links will be in the description, but thank you so much for taking part of the challenge and to the audience for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Peace out.